Don, I understand that you've come all the way over from Portland in the US to actually manage this project at Sheffield, but could you tell me a little bit about the project here? Yes, I've been working on this project for over two years. I did the initial business case for the project and then was asked to implement it. So we have a, a broad implementation team, many people based uh, in the UK and across Europe. And we went through a process and of course selected uh, the Starg FMS cell here. Uh, our goal is to be able to produce large quantities of components for 737, 767 actuation. And of course the grand opening last week was a major milestone in the project. So when are you actually going to be manufacturing parts here? Uh, so we're already manufacturing parts. We've actually completed our first pro our parts on some of the other machines and shipped them to the United States. So we're in uh, media tryout uh, for multiple part numbers. As soon as we get castings in, uh, we'll be working on this cell uh, probably within a couple of weeks. So uh, things are moving quickly and we need to, to get a uh, number of parts over the United States for the end of the year. And looking longer term, will there be other investments maybe in the UK from Boeing? Uh, well, so we have been investing for many years in the UK and airplane rates continue to go up. And so I'm sure the company will continue to grow in the UK. James, you're the operation manager here at the Sheffield facility at Boeing. Could you tell me a little bit about the journey here? Yeah, so over the last 18 months, we've literally gone from a complete brownfield with, with no design for the building uh, to move through the design process, the REBA design process. And, you know, we have an environmentally rated excellent building. So it's very important for us to get the environmental credentials and also the safety credentials for the building in place. That was during the design phase. And then the, over the last 10 months, we've built and brought it to life. Yeah. And the, the parts that you're going to be making here for the 737? Yeah, for the, largely for the 737. About 95% of the factory throughput will be for the 737 airplane program. But we also make parts for the 67 as well. And why Starag? Why have you chosen the Starag X40 machines? Yeah, so, I mean, on a technical basis, we have the 20,000 RPM spindle. We have a five-axis machining pallet. We have twin pallets so we can uh, support with the FMS system to help, help, help minimize downtime. And with the FMS, we can, you know, potentially run 24-7 as well. So a very good, stable machine platform, industry 4.0 capable, so we can run our auto autonomous maintenance and, you know, take care, take readings and, and hook up straight to the, uh, the OEM manufacturers for them to be able to assess the health and condition of their machine, again, to minimise downtime. So very excited. Yeah. And I presume that you're going to be making a lot of parts here because these machines are very, very fast. Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, our... our, our if I told you that the parts that we're making want to be in the region of maybe 20 to 30 minutes per, per component, and, you know, we're going to be producing multiple thousands of components per month. Lee, it's been a fabulous journey with your relationship with Boeing Sheffield. Now, I first visited the Chemnitz Hecat factory in the summer, looking at the machines being signed off by Boeing. We've been here two additional times looking at the machines actually being delivered, being positioned. But the third time, what stage are these machines at? Well, these are finished now, Mark. So we've got three machines fully installed on an FMS that's got space for additional machines. Um, we're ready to start cutting metal. So when, when you look at the machines and the journey that you've been with them, are they going to be doing exactly the job that Boeing were looking at in the first place? They are. They're, they're going to be machining a family of housings. So five-axis prismatic type machining. And uh, as we speak, fixtures, tools, programs are being produced to start feeding in these jobs on a one-by-one -one basis. Lee, when speaking to James, he said the reason that he's working with Starag to a certain point and, and buying these X40 machines is based on the speed of the components. Well, they're an 80 metre machine, so whether, whether they're actually in cut or whether they're point-to-point -point, uh, positioning, they're extremely fast. So the relationship between Starag and Boeing is a very, very strong relationship in machining capabilities. And I can see that when you look at the actual investment, it's very much down to UK manufacturing at the highest level within the aerospace sector.